How did you, like, what did you become a Okay, let's start from when I was a Christian. Okay. Okay, when I was a kid, um, I always, you know, always find myself sitting in whenever, whenever that people been, uh, preaching. Mm -hmm. So I always find myself uh, sitting and listening. So, I mean, at that early age, I, I know that there is God, and mm -hmm. uh, but I'm afraid that if I do some silly things, God will punish me. And um, I was quite religious as well with my angelus and my rosary and those stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, so you can say, especially my father, he's, he reads Bible all the time, so every time I see him reading Bible every morning. So that, that was the kind of environment I was, I was brought up. And then um, high school, not much happened, but I started reading a Bible mm -hmm. for myself. I'll be in one corner, so my quiet time, so I would have my quiet time. Mm -hmm. So I would read Bible. And uh, yeah, it's quite really good, and uh, I really appreciate it. And then when I entered university, we call it college, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when I entered college, uh, um, there's so many Christian groups in our school. So we're also hard rock Catholic. Like, they would mm -hmm. say that the, the way to heaven is through Mary and then those type of things. And I, I was reading Bible and then was, those, those questions started coming and then I said, Oh yeah, I know Mary is, uh, she is, uh, she was a uh, mother of Jesus and she's like a role model for us women. And, uh, but nothing more than that. Uh, she, she's a role model, so that's mm -hmm. good. But uh, it doesn't say, the Bible doesn't say that I have to pray to Mary. But I mean, I mm -hmm. cannot solidify those questions, but that I use those things, those things that I've learned from Bible itself to qualify which group I should be. So I, yeah. I, I, so I stopped going to that group. And then our uh, next another group, and then this another group is the, is it, they said the Christian group, I forgot the names, but and then they said that um, suddenly during their session they would have like this gift of tongue. Mm -hmm. So they would start saying something in different, yeah. mm -hmm. different language, but I don't know what language is that. And I got scared, I said, mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what they were saying, maybe, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever, but they said that the Holy Spirit would come to them, and then that's the time they would start all these things. Okay. And then, um, so, but still, I just continue reading Bible, and then when I started working, there's another group of people, there's another group of Christians, Salam there's another group of Christians that was the you know, they're giving, they're, they're preaching me, and then they were telling me to come and, and just uh, to, to come to their Sunday meeting, not the meeting, how do you call it? Sunday church. church. Sunday church. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and then I was, at that time, I already had um, four children. I got five children at the moment. So I got four <laughs> children. So I have to be, so imagine that time I was uh, 2000, early 2000, and so I, I was carrying all my children all the way from, I was living in the province that time, all the way to the city, so it's kind of big task really, but I didn't mind because I wanted my children to be brought up into that type of environment as well. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just a little thing that I could do, and the rest, you know, depends on God. Mm -hmm. So, so I was doing that, and then that was okay, actually, so they baptized me, so I have to be, be born, born again for, for, uh, for my sin to be washed away, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Enjoy that. So people are nice. Um, there's some some entertainment during their Sunday church, which is cool. So my children loves it. So so I don't have to worry about my children as well because uh, there's a group of people that will look after them. Mm -hmm. So that happened. And then um so as I mentioned, I was married at that time, but the the marriage didn't work quite well. So mm -hmm. like uh, so we have marital problem. Uh, so we moved to the city. So that's, I was still working, I was still working same same company. So I just got tired with you know, the uh, marriage life and I said uh, I was offered to, to work. Uh, we have another office somewhere. So I was assigned to different countries as well. Yeah. And then I, I worked to uh, the uh, province, another province as a, as a project manager. Yeah. And then so uh, at that time I said I have, I've decided, I look around where, where else we can make way. And then I found found this and I said, oh, this is, it says that it's good for, you know, bringing up your children and yeah. stuff. It's, so, it's sorry, just to, where, where 
were you before New Zealand? Like where where were you born and where did you grow up? Philippines. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So and then at that time, so I made up my mind I'm going to New Zealand. Yes. So, so how far just how how am I gonna do it? How am I gonna manage it? So and then okay so short making long story short so I was able to manage it but my, another intention of going to New Zealand is I said I'm gonna remove my relationship to God because mm-hmm. I, obviously that time has burned out with my work and my the family like this mm-hmm. so I said oh it's about time to you know renew my relationship to God mm-hmm. but when I whenever I pray I always say God but I would see I would see sigh in Jesus and I pray and mm-hmm. but I know I was talking to God yeah so I came here in New Zealand 23rd of November 2008. So with that intention and bringing my children here. So I got a job off for December, so that's fine. And then December 25, I found a man in, in I was the, the Skype, so it's technology. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah. This is one of the wonders of technology, which I really appreciate. So I, mm-hmm. there's one one man who said, hi, hello, how are you? And I was so tired, I said, sorry, I'll, chat, I'll have a chat with you tomorrow. And then the next time, oh, he's a Muslim. Mm-hmm. And then that started. I said, okay, so you're a Muslim. So uh, many weeks passed. And then he said, okay, so how do you pray? So we started with that's That was his intention as well, you know, to, to spread Islam. Mm-hmm. And so he showed me how, uh, he asked me first, so how do you pray? Okay, I said, whenever I'm praying, I try to connect with God. So I tried as much as I can to cry because that melts, you know, that, that softens my heart and I feel like I'm more connected if that happens. And but in my heart I was proud about what I was doing. Because I said I was connecting to that because for me that was the right thing to do, mm-hmm. which is good, which is really good. And then he said, Oh so, and then I told him, So can you show me how you pray? I was so confident because I thought that I was a good Christian. So he showed me how he prayed. So he started doing all these things, you know. Have you seen how we pray? No, that's why no. we came in the morning, but they, like, we couldn't see it. Mm. No, it's they, so yeah, mm. so, yeah, we really wanted to see how you pray. Okay, maybe you can, that, that, that part you can give you. I don't know, for some reason I felt like this is it. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to know more about it. It's not because that person, because that person became husband. <laughs> became husband later, but not, it's not because of it. Because uh, what I saw is like I feel like something that this is what I'm looking for. This is submission because I know if you read if you read Bible, we were asked to submit to God. Yeah. How we, yeah. so, so I said that's submission, and and then he told me he gave me some guidelines on how you pray. You when you're praying, you concentrate, make no other movements except what is you know what is prescribed because you, you want your all your body, your mind, your soul, focus on your prayer. Mm-hmm. No one else. You don't ever look around. Once you look around, we are being taught. The children are being taught. Once you started looking around, doing something else, your prayer is not in voice. It's, it's, um, it's invalidated. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you have to do it again if you like. If you want a lot to accept it. Otherwise, yes. it's not accepted. Okay. So I said, hmm, <laughs> let me think about it. So I said, so how would I know? So I started, so again, technology. I used to come research. So what does the word Islam means? Oh, you know what the word Islam means? It's an Arabic word which means submission to all, to one God, worthy of worship. That's what Islam means. So you submit. The word Islam means submit. It derives from a root word means salam, which is means peace. But mm. I don't know much about the words. <laughs> I'm still learning, but yeah. So that's what it explains and if you, if you do it, you will find it means submission. Okay, so that makes sense to me. And then, um, so I started looking for people who could actually give me some overview what Islam is about. And um, so I was in Orchard that time, and there was some, um, I called the most, just like Patrick did maybe. So I called the most, and then um, this little boy got the phone, not little boy, he's already on his teenage. And then he said, oh, so he wanted to learn more about Islam. So he said, oh, my, my friend's mom is, uh, she's knowledgeable, so she can help me. So, okay, so, so he, I went to mosque, and then um, I saw this, this teenage boy. So actually, they're, they're from Arabs, and the other one is from Egypt. And they're big, actually, they're teenagers, but they're so big, and I got scared. I said, I'm going to go in there, and then they approached me because I discovered my car. 
And so I started there, so I started meeting their mom. So I, I went to one of the prayers and I, and um, yeah, they, they, they give me, they told me about Islam and then what was Islam is based on their teaching is you pray to only one God. Yeah. Because, and to me it makes sense because uh, what, what I read in the Bible it says, what well, was the 10th commandment, I, did, I, can't, I can't tell you that word by word, but it says that you only pray to one God. Yeah. Isn't it? That's the first commandment, what mm. the most important commandment, because the tenth commandment is dividing the two important commandments, like to God and your parents, mm. love your parents. And I said, it, it's 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 what I'm looking for. It's it's, it's the dis- discrepancies that I've been seeing in other religious, where I mean, particularly when I was a Christian, because it says this is the commandment, but we're doing something else. And another thing is uh, that makes sense to me is that. We use Quran, and if you look at the Quran, no, no. Some Christians they ask them, just read Quran. I can, t- I can tell you as much as I know. But we read Quran, then you find out for yourself, see for yourself. But I, in my journey, you know, if I read Quran, uh, I know that it's not from human. It's not from, it's not from someone who just really knowledgeable about theology, my concern. Because the words that Allah has used is. Even Allah is challenging human. If you read Quran, that is part in the Quran, that Allah will challenge human to reproduce at least one ayah. One ayah means one verse. One verse of the Quran. If they can do that, then, you know, it's a proof. But no, Allah knows. That's why Allah is challenging people, because Allah knows that they can't reproduce, because it's from God. And if Quran was written, it was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. Uh, it was revealed 14,000 years ago. So at that time, we knew very little about science. But if you read Quran, you will find a lot of things that now people in, in the science field are finding out. Mm-hmm. Like the womb, the, how, how the fetus is developed in the, in, in the mother's womb. It's, it's described in the Quran. The universe is described in the Quran. There are a lot of things about science that just we just started finding out now. That's in the Quran. You know, and, um, and uh, they said, how how would there's also a story about Isa is Isa is the Arabic name for Jesus. There's a story. Allah has revealed what really happened during that time, and we honored we we Muslims honored um, Mary. We call it Mary because it was it was there a lot. Allah gave us the uh, narrated the story what really happened to Mary, and for that we honored her being being that kind of lady, and she's a role model for us as well. And so, I mean, what I'm saying is, um, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you look at his um, biology, he is illiterate. He mm-hmm. is unlettered, as they said. He couldn't write, he couldn't read. That's why Quran was revealed to him by angel Gabriel, and he memorized, because Arab at that time, they were known for having a good uh, memory. So he memorized the Quran, and that's why Quran. That's one of the reason. Why, well, that's another one that I mean, I can't ignore it. You know, what what happened is so that he memorized the Quran, and and he passed it on to his disciples, and the disciples memorized the Quran, and they teach it to the children as well, to the people. That's why. That's why because one of the promise of Allah, Allah that uh, no one can change. Even in the Bible, Allah said, "Don't change my word." But people started changing it. That's why that's the reason why Quran is, is still written in Arabic up to now because we don't want it to be corrupted because that's Allah's promise. That's one way of preserving the words of Quran. So that's why we are forcing ourselves as an effort, you know, to learn the Quran in Arabic. But we understand it in English. There's so many translations, but you have the Arabic to look every now and then to make sure that it's correct translation, it's the correct meaning. That's why people are being, we, we are teaching our children to learn Arabic because we they, we wanted them to understand the Quran from its own, from Allah's words. So that's, mm-hmm. just, that's another thing. I mean, if just people, uh, I remember when I was asked also that time, so what, what you know about, about Islam? I'm sorry. 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 